I will wish to express my appreciation to Her Excellency, Mrs. Nandini Singla, for facilitating my meeting with Sri Padnavis in Mumbai on the 8th of March of this year, uh, after I had attended the G20 meeting in Delhi. In, in, indeed, during our first friendly and warm encounter, we outlined the potential areas of cooperation <clears throat> between Mauritius and Maharashtra, and I was overwhelmed by the desire, by the willingness, by the enthusiasm of Sri Fadnavis uh, to enhance our relations in a wide array of, of sectors. And I am so happy uh, that when I extended the invitation for him to visit our island, he readily agreed uh, to my invitation. As time is of the essence, ladies and gentlemen, I will share a few insights on the present, past, and future of people-to-people -people relations between Mauritius and India and Mauritius and Maharashtra. Allow me firstly to dwell on the present. This official visit of three Fadnavis to our country, a few weeks after our meeting in Mumbai, as I just uh, alluded to, translates in an effective manner this shared vision for the establishment of stronger relations uh, between us. This MOU will undoubtedly encourage investment and trade promotion while enhancing the economic relations between Mauritius and Maharashtra. Behind the prosperity of Maharashtra, we have a man of vision in the, in the person of the distinguished Sri Devendra Vatnavis, the DCM. As you may know, Sri Vatnavis also served as the 18th Chief Minister of Maharashtra from 2014 to 2019, being at that time the youngest Chief Minister of Maharashtra at the age at the age of 44, it is worth mentioning that Maharashtra became the most economically advanced state with the highest industrial output, nearly a quarter of the country's output under his leadership as chief minister. We are indeed very proud to have him in our midst, although for this lightning visit. And the first impression that one has when uh, you first encounter him, which I had during my encounter with him in Mumbai, was that he possesses all the qualities of an ideal politician. This is a veteran talking to you. <laughs> the qualities of humility, of simplicity, and of effectiveness.